two hour dealy. So we're hustling to get caught up to them. And uh, now there's a loose dog, so be careful. But uh, okay, I haven't really been uh, running or working out much, so to say I'm out of breath is a little bit of an understatement. And we're up at a high altitude, and it smells like cow pies. Here's what it looks like. Ah, oh, that's a lovely smell. Here we are. See that little orange dot way in the distance? That's them. And there's a rooster. This is getting more adventurous by the minute. Hey look, it's a cow. They're at home. Oh boy. A lot of loose dogs running around, little bow wows. Don't pet them, don't feed them. Hey look, there's Ecuadorians running around. All right, that was a joke. There they go. So, as you can see from in back of me, we're on a pretty steep cliff. Can't really see the traffic on, but uh, we're out here on a uh, road outside of the orphanage. Not for nothing. Kind of taking your life in your hands with some of these drivers. But I gotta say, at least they're nice enough to uh, drive out of the way so they don't run you over. That's, that's kind of cool. But here's what we're looking at right now. We're coming down this, I don't know, hill, whatever. And there's uh, not only the children, but there are some other ladies from, uh, they're called gap year ladies. They're on a nine month mission of their own. And they're here for a period of time, I think until the end of December. I think that's what I heard. We're here till the end of the week. We're here for three months and then they go somewhere else. Uh, something like that. So anyway, you know, not for nothing. I wasn't prepared to run the uh, Lada Kunga 10K this morning. See, there's a, there's a fine fellow in a red car. Two, two, chug a chug a big red car. Anyway, so very rural area out here. Lots of cows everywhere. It's a lot warmer than I thought. A little bit warmer than I expected, but still not bad. Nice cool breeze. And you would think, oh, a nice cool breeze in the air. It's gonna smell fresh like nature. But let me tell you something. This oh, smells like nature. Yeah. Here's, here's a sight for you. <laughs> now, coming up in a second here, I'm gonna show you. An interesting sight. You got a local Ecuadorian, shorter gentleman, walking a couple cows. Let's see what this looks like. Check this out. From what I understand, like the indigenous don't really like their picture taken all that much. So I'm going to be kind of surreptitious about this. Alrighty. Uh -huh. Hola, vacas. Did you get a good look at that one? Hey. So anyway, it's funny, normally when you vlog and you're holding the camera up to your face, people look at you like you're nuts. In Ecuador, it's like times 10. Everybody's looking at you like you're a total, total nut job. <laughs> So, well, I got you guys here. Um, today, we're gonna just spend the day at the location. We're gonna be playing with the kids. There's a guitar flying around and uh, may bust out a few songs for them. We never know. And that's basically it. We're just gonna be a day with the kids and everybody. So, same rules apply here that I can't really show you much of the kids proper because of the privacy laws of Ecuador. So, that's why you'll notice the shots are usually pretty far out and they're very rarely zooming in on someone's face or something. So, that's why I do that. But there are kids here and we are playing with them and doing our thing and we're praying for the Tias. So it's going well so far. Okay, I'm out of breath, so I'm gonna cut this vlog here and catch my breath. Back with you soon. Okay, so we have a river of sorts here. And we got some indigenous people walking over this way. Can't really show too much of that. I'll record from this side. Where's Ian? Vamos a bajarles a los chicos. He's there. I see him. He's right there. Que nos dé traduciendo. Usted por. Vamos a bajar a los chicos para. Okay. Now there's a stream flowing here. 
What that stream consists of, I don't know, and I don't know if I want to say. But as you see, there's a tire there, and there's lots of cows around these parts. So, at this point, we're just kind of sitting and having like a quick snack with everybody. And there's... Oh, oh, cuidado. Hola, buenos días, ¿cómo estás? Dame. I don't want to hold this stuff. No quiero. Show him, hold it. All right, check this out. I'm holding the cow. This thing takes off, I'm going to have a problem. She's taking a picture of me holding this cow. Okay, how awkward do I really look doing this? All right, check it out. I'm holding a cow. I ain't milking this thing. So I was just walking this cow down the river one day. That is so awesome. Ah, ah. They got the animal crack. I didn't realize it was there. All right, there we go. What'd you think, Ian? So they're uh, taking care of the kids down there. We're all hanging up here. So, um, for my vlog, who are ya? <laughs> so, what's your group? Tell me about your group. Um, In a southern accent, please. Okay, I can do that. <laughs> we are a group of seven girls from the United States. We um, are doing a gap year, so we're going to three different countries for a total of nine months. We're in Ecuador for three, and then India for three, and then Zambia for three. Doing various ministries like orphan ministry, children's ministry, women's ministry, just really whatever is needed in the area that we're placed. Cool, how long have you been doing this? We have been on the field for a month and a half now. Okay, so how is the trip going so far here in Ecuador? Pretty amazing, I'd say. Is it worth a worth all sitting in the middle seat for a couple thousand miles? Or? Absolutely. Heck yeah. Yes. All right, so next up is India then. Yes. All right, are you excited for that? Are you a little Very nervous about it? Yeah, I'm extremely excited. Okay. And then which out of the three do you think is going to be like the most powerful for you? They have no, they have no color. I'm the most excited We're speculating, about, of course. So just yeah. what, what are you thinking at this point? Because it's... I'm the most excited about Zambia. Zambia, okay. And you? I'd say India. India. How about you, dear? What do you think? India. India? How about you? Oh wait, that's a dog. <laughs> so, how did you get involved with the, with the organization? I found it online. Okay. I had friends who had done the World Race before. And they it. World Race is what it's called. Yep. Okay. So what's the website? Uh, Adventuresandmissions.org. Adventuresandmissions.org. All right. Well, have a good time and uh, be safe. Yeah. Thank you. Well, we're now on our second walk today. This is for the babies. A little shorter walk. We were trying to walk to the soccer field, but it looks like the soccer field is closed. We tried another entrance before, and it looks like this entrance may also be closed. But we're just taking like a half mile walk with the babies. Millian's got a little baby strapped to his front, and, and we have enough uh, volunteers and staff here to help us with the babies. And here comes the baby dog that I'm not too happy about. Bye. Hey, Ian. What are you doing? Lollipop. We're hanging out with the kids over here, and there's Megan again. Las Tias. Can't really show much of the uh, children. So. I think we used the wrong verb. Mm -hmm. Did I say something like totally horrible? <laughs> By the way, these cookies are phenomenal. It's vanilla cookies with chocolate filling. It's like a reverse Oreo. Right? Was I right? Oh, yeah. Anyway. I think they just don't want to use that word with the kids. Oh. Would be my guess. It's, that is like the word, but... That's okay. And then the round to the kids will like sit on it, or stuff in their shirt, put it behind their back. <laughs> How y'all doing over there? We're great. How are you? How are you doing that?